President Emerson Mnangagwa misses constitutional deadline to publish the final elimination report. After Parliament approved the higher nomination cost last week, political parties wishing to field candidates in the awards in positions would need to pay over US$230,800 or the equivalent in local currency about $1.5 billion when, when the nomination could convene on Wednesday. In accordance with the statutory instrument 144 of 2022, the fees were published. Present contenders must pay US$20,000 while candidates for the two tier National Assembly seats must each pay US$1,000. Party list for Senate National Assembly women and youth quotas as well as provincial and metropolitan council candidates who attract a fee of US$200 charge. Contesting for local authorities does not attract any fee. The High Court in Harare will be a venue for submitting nomination papers for presidential election candidates. National Assembly, Senate and Metropolitan and Provincial Councils nomination papers will be submitted in provincial magistrate courts countrywide. For aspiring councillors, the candidates will file their papers at their respective local authority offices. According to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, this year's elections we have five categories contested under proportional representation system. Senate, National Assembly, Women and Youth Quarters, Provincial and Metropolitan Councils, and the Women's Quarter and Local Authorities. Senate party list is made up of candidates of 40 years and above registered in the province in which one is standing. It must be a zebra or alternating format with the woman name on top of the list. Each political party submits a list of six names per province, said Zek. Nomination fees is US$200 or being equivalent per party list. The National Assembly Women Party is made up of candidates aged 21 and above registered in the province in which one is standing and must consist of women only. Each political party submits a list of six names per province. Nomination fees is also US$200 or being rate equivalent. This election will witness the first contest for the local authority women's quota and the National Assembly Youth Quota, which will introduce the through constitutional amendment number two in 2021. For the National Assembly Youth Party list, the list is made up of candidates 21 to 35 years old registered in the province in which one is standing and must consist of two candidates with one eligible for election. Each political party submits a list of two names of the ZANPF Director of Nomination. The ZANPF Director of Information and Publicity, D.E. Tafazo Mbadi, said the ruling party will field candidates in the constituency. What I can say to the media is that our candidates are capable of paying the fees and will be duly nominated without fail. When it comes to who will pay the fees, it's now an internal process which remains closed to the public. Movement for Democratic Change, MDC, spokesperson Mr. Witness Dewey said the party was finalizing its candidates' nomination. We have successfully filed for our presidential candidates and we, are, we have successfully filed presidential candidates and we are finally meeting this weekend to finalize our candidates' list for the nomination court. In a post on Twitter, Democratic Union of Zimbabwe, to his president, Mr. Robert Chapman, said, we are fielding candidates and heavily focused on that process right now. After nomination on Wednesday, the country will know who is who in the respective communities and the vision and path for the communities become transparent and open for debate and discussion. I look forward to those discussions around the country with voters. CCC spokesperson Ms. Fazai Mahere had not replied to questions sent by the Sunday Mail last week. Zegu will be giving a copy of the final voters' role to successful candidates.